Hello everyone, welcome back to SU Team channel and today we have this printer module. As you can see, this is the replacement and it's provided by us, ECU team. And this is the original module. So the problem with the original module is that it's faulty. It cannot be reprogrammed. So we put it on the side and we got a replacement module right here. Also, the customer sent out the ignition switch right here, but he forgot the most important thing, which is the steering column lock and um, for that, we are using our emulator right here. It will be able to emulate the steering lock, make sure that everything will be programmed exactly how it's supposed to be. So, this is not just some regular sprinter. This is a gas sprinter. As you know, most of the sprinters that drive around the US are diesel. Well, this is gas and it's in US as well. So, we got the key right there. We put the key into the ignition switch, we turn it, and now we go down to our start diag, where we'll be able to determine what's happening to it, what's the problem, and how we can fix it. Okay, so what we are doing right now is we want to read out every single module. We want to read it out and then see what's happening to it and what we can do. If it's possible, we'll take out the information from the original one and then put it into the uh, replacement. And then if that is not possible, then we'll find some other way where we'll be able to make the replacement module work on uh, the car. Right now we are saving the screenshots from the diagnostics we are reading out the fault codes and then there we see that there are no fault codes present on the EIS, as yes and this is in EIS so this is the ignition switch there are no fault codes present in the ignition switch Okay, now next step is to check out the fault codes in the... So now we need to check out the ECU. So we're going to the control unit version. We want to save this information. We want to check the drive authorization system.
and we can see that we got everything set to yes which means that the customer will be able to start his car no problem with this particular module you can see that the system is allowing the engine to start So as you see after the data transfer, as you can see after the data transfer, the ECU gave us the authorization to drive the car, which means that the customer will be able to put his ignition switch with the key and the steering column lock, but he got it in the car, this ECU into the car and it will be plug and play. Now we saw that based on the results that we got from the diagnostic tool, now it's time to pack this thing up, send it out to the customer and just wait for the answer to, for a call. Uh, him saying that hey, everything is working, everything is good. So in case if you got a similar problem, make sure that you get in touch with us because we know how to help you out with these printer modules. We know what to do as well as we know how to program, reprogram, replace, and then program, synchronize, align, do anything what we need to do with these uh, sprinter modules. We can help you out because we know a lot of, lot of times out there where customers or regular, just regular people in general do not know what to do with it and we are here to help you out. So please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel. My name is Edward. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.